what conversations you're having, um, not in front of thousands and thousands of people, but what are your sort of private persuasion messages to Republicans? Well, there's been a lot of them. I was I was stopped yesterday in, in the gym by a couple of, of young men who were uh, had concerns. They were, uh, you know, watching a lot of Fox News, and they were telling me they you know, they could never afford to buy a house now. And what am I thinking? Uh, why am I becoming a Democrat? Uh, and and there's a multiply that by uh, by thousands, you know, all over our country. I think it it's easy sometimes. Uh, to forget that this country remains very evenly divided, and there are a lot of folks that are that are, are misinformed, and that are. You know, I, I think it's important that Vice President Harris continue to run like she's behind, uh, because uh, underestimating Donald Trump is something that we do at our own peril. So we do need to engage uh, in the gyms and in, in the grocery store lines and at churches and everywhere, and, and try to overcome some of the the conservative propaganda that's out there. Uh, preaching that uh, that Vice President Harris is an existential threat to our country. You know, we we need to 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 get good information out to people, and again, run like we're behind. Olivia Troy, one of the places where the disinformation um, that Trump spews, um, and Vance Parrots and Fox News has actually paid millions of dollars for their role in disseminating on behalf of Donald Trump, um, is about the sanctity of our elections. It's what brought. Um, sort of the, the first high-profile Republican, um, Liz Cheney and, and Adam Kinzinger, to the side of, of, of being Republican lightning rods on the pro-democracy side. Um, what is your sense of how much is achievable in the next 87 days? Look, uh, Nicole, I'm inspired. I'm actually inspired by the conversations, and I'm inspired by the mayor who's having those conversations with the Fox News watchers, because I think that is what needs to happen. We need to be reaching these voters and having these just one-on-one -on -one conversations with them on the center right side. And I think, you know, I was in Michigan uh, with the vice president last month. I saw her extend that olive branch to Republican women and conservative women in that moment. And I saw her speak in a way that was, uh, you know, em empathetic and impactful and understanding of how conservatives differ on the views. But I also saw her say, hey, you are welcome as part of this coalition. And I think that's what Republicans for Harris is trying to do. We are saying, you know, we don't all have to be agreeing on everything. But the one thing we agree on is that we want a better future for our country. We want to strengthen our democracy. And also we want a better future for the Republican party. And the best way to do that is by defeating Donald Trump. Yeah, you know, Olivia, I thought so much